Okay, here's the robot that I built using uh, Greg's self-reversing screwdriver. I decided to leave it visible in the chest. Thought I'd add a couple of flywheel type things and a and balance beam going on there and an opening mouth and get the lid eyes and the flashing head. And of course, got the locking action. If you've watched the videos of this uh, all along, then you will be able to notice that I have redesigned the legs to add a little more taper and detail to them, redesigned the feet for the same reasons, had a little better look to it. And uh, battery pack slips in the back, this door just pressure fits on, it's three AAA batteries. It's a single blue, if we can get enough light to see down in there. Here, let me turn this light on on the camera. Maybe. There we go. You can see the blue TT motor down there, which means it's the 90 to 1, or 1 to 90, if you will. Gear ratio motor. Uh, just drives the shaft. The sh shaft drives the, uh, the traveler, as you can see there. I added some little red uh, pieces to them, so it's easier to see it going up and down. Then right off the top of the shaft, I extend it up to a cam that can uh, operate the mouth. Like I say, I just thought it'd be kind of fun to have some uh, flywheels on there, even though they're not going around. Kind of reminds you of an old steam engine or something like that. And then you've got the beam that you would see in a lot of the old steam engine type stuff. The arms are just poseable. Decided not to make them mechanically linked. I'm just going to walk right off the table and I'll catch it. So, I'll put, uh, I'll put links down below to uh, one of Greg's videos. He's done several of them on him, but from that one you can get to his channel. You can find all of his other videos and uh, about the self-reversing screwdriver and sometimes in the land of fishing poles and stuff. It's called, uh, what did I say, a worm drive, they call it. And in the land of uh, wire pulling hoist and stuff, it has another name. But at any rate, uh, as far as I know, Greg was the first person to design one that we could 3D print easily. And I just 3D printed it on this uh, A1 Mini in standard 0.2 layer height, nothing special there. And turned out great, worked quite well. Traveler's quite strong. Um, I don't have any plans of doing a build video or anything like that. If there's any interest, I can put the files up on Thingiverse. Haven't done that yet. Just depends if there's anybody that really wants to try to figure it out and build it. But uh, there you have it. It's my self-reversing screwdriver walking robot.